guys? March 4th, you can see it's freaking gorgeous outside, and it seems like the snow is never going to leave here in Indiana. And uh, I am super pumped to be out here today and getting this kayak ready to go. Uh, this is my Ascend uh, 12T, and I've had it about a year now. And um, I really wanted to kind of go over some things I like about it and what I don't like. Um, there's a lot of people uh, that have, I don't want to say it like that because I sound like one of them stupid women on Instagram. There have been a couple people ask me how I like this kayak. So this is a review that I'm doing on it, mainly because I want to show people the options out there. You either, either People are either buying a, a $200, $300 kayak and not getting what they like, or they're spending $2,000 on one when they really didn't need uh, to spend that kind of money if they can get exactly what they want out of something like this. There's only like 10 days left until uh, Mississippi opener. I believe that's where I'm heading first. And uh, Mississippi's known for some uh, wet ground. So I'm going to take advantage of some of the uh, water access down there and uh, take my kayak and hopefully tag one of them really tough public birds. Um, never been to Mississippi, so uh, I'm expecting to come home empty-handed. I know the birds are tough. Uh, there's a lot of pressure. But it's, it's nothing I'm not used to. So, anyways, guys, let me go over a couple things that I really like about this kayak and maybe a few things that I don't. And then I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like when I've got most of my gear in there and uh, how it all lays out. So, check it out. All right, so let me go over some of the, just the basic things that this kayak has to offer that I really like. Um, pretty standard with most kayak, this style that you find, not just necessarily this brand, but... Let's go from the front to the back. First of all, this thing cuts through the water. Incredible. It's got a great groove down the middle, all the way through the back. Up here on top, you've got your bungees that uh, can hold some gear, extra clothes, etc. Moving back, you've got your paddle holder. One here, one here. I will say that this is one of the things on this kayak that I don't like. It's cheap. It's bound to break at any minute um, you could easily take this off and put you on some I think it's maybe yak gear I'm not sure some aftermarket ones that would work way better um, you've got the adjustable foot pedals on both sides slide very easily with the touch of the red lever um, these are really come in handy because um, I was blessed with only the tall or excuse me I was only blessed with the handsome in the dark not the tall so tall, dark, and handsome package was not me. So I have to slide these really far back so my feet can touch them. <laughs> um, got a huge live well right here. Sorry about the sun, by the way. It's kind of a weird time outside. Um, got a big live well right here. I'll show you all the stuff that I keep in there here in just a moment. Uh, it's got another dry box or dry container right here. And I will say right off the bat, do not expect everything you put in there to stay 100% dry. If you want it to stay dry, put it in those boxes and uh, put them in a Ziploc bag or something. That's just the best way to go. It's got six scupper plugs located, two on the deck, two under your butt, and two in the very back. This seat right here is super nice. Um, it's comfy. It adjusts um, in multiple spots right here. you got your levers. You can actually lean this thing way back. And you could uh, possibly buy an aftermarket blind and you can duck hunt out of this thing. You've got a couple spots right here for it to slide back. With a, a little bit of a aggressive touch, it pops right up. Go forward or backwards. Um, this right here, I do like this about it and most people probably wouldn't even use it. Um, but a Yeti, tumbler, whatever, a big thermos fits right down in there. Uh, let's see, moving on back, you've got some rod holders. I don't fish very much at all, uh, but it do, does have two places for uh, a rod holder. So if you want to stick some stuff in there or maybe a, a GoPro, you could put it on a selfie stick and get some cool angles. Um, there were four of these, as you can see, but there's one missing because I backed up into a pole with my kayak in the back of my truck and it ripped it out because that's where I tie it down. But in the back it's also got more bungee cords, mallard duck feathers. Um, like I said, I've had this thing for a year. This thing is not clean, it's dirty. I put it to the test and I really, really like it. In the back it's got your drain plug and um, 
pretty standard little drain plug. But uh, some of the things that I don't like about this kayak, it's in, it, it seems like these screws on the front and the back always tend to come loose. Um, this plastic is not very thick, so that just ripped right out. I imagine if you put it under a lot of stress, it would probably do it again uh, in other places. Uh, like I said, I, I'm not a huge fan of these, and I wish these rails were in different spots. I'm sure that you could move them. Uh, but other than that, I have no complaints out of this thing. All right, so let me go over a couple things that I keep in my live well at all times uh, for just in cases and um, and for safety. Um, let's see, let me get to that. First things first, if you don't have one of these, you're stupid. Um, a life jacket is a must and it's pretty much legal everywhere you go. Uh, a little fun fact for you guys. Um, so I was paddling uh, this past fall down in um, Indiana on some public in a creek that was about 15 inches deep um, and a game warden come up on me and I was not wearing a life jacket um, and to my understanding some of the states that I've hunted you only got to have a life jacket if you're running like a motor uh, like a trolling motor or whatever so I wasn't wearing one so he jumped my tail he wrote me a ticket and I honest to God didn't think I was in the wrong but you know you live and learn and, and that's my fault but it was funny he said what were you going to do if you fell out? I don't know. Stand up. It was 15 inches deep. That was the wrong answer. Anyways, get yourself one of these inflatable ones if you've got the money. They're like $80 to $100. Um, this one right here, you can pull the tab and it'll inflate. There's a CO2 cartridge in here. and Mine is actually an either or. So if this thing hits the water, it's going to blow up. So keep it dry and... Uh, It'll save your life. Number two, I hunt a lot of wetland areas. So down in here, I keep a pair of frog tog hip waders in case somewhere that I'm going, I run into some water after I get out of this kayak uh, that I need to cross real quick. Pretty, I mean, they're super light. There's nothing to them. They're not warm. It's just something to get me across that hard spot quick and uh, where I need to be. I keep a trail camera lock in here and I'll tell you why is because if I get somewhere where there's maybe some high traffic coming by um, I can take this thing pull it up on dry land I take my scupper plug out and I run this through the actual kayak and I'm able to tie this whole thing off somewhere so nobody can steal it um, just be careful when you do that you don't lose your key because that would suck and the only I guess the only way somebody can really nab it is if they come through with a, a bolt cutter. If you're trolling down the river with a bolt cutter, I guess take the damn thing. You want it more than I do. And this right here, of course, is just a regular old Phillips screwdriver. I use it. Most of the screws on this thing are Phillips. So that's why I keep it in there in case anything goes loose. And uh, oh my goodness, I almost forgot the most important thing. I don't know what it is about getting on the water and having to poop. But I'm telling you, put some wet wipes in there. That way, if nature calls, you can you can do your thing. And I would personally trust this kayak so much. It's sturdy. Um, if I thought I was good enough, I could poop off the side of it. That's a whole other story. And uh, I don't really plan on trying it unless I absolutely have to. So, uh, let's get to the way that I run this thing when I hunt and some other stuff that I've added on it that works for me. So, one of the things I added is this Culpin um grips right here for my bow or my gun uh, i just put these on the other day mainly for my shotgun um and i'm going to show you what that looks like in just a minute uh it's it's kind of funny my bow doesn't fit in here because it's such an odd shaped bow um, my bow lays right here in the front really nicely it fits like a glove it's kind of crazy um i also drilled a quarter inch bolt right here in the front right in front of my live well and the reason for that is because i can take my Insta360 pole here with my GoPro on it and spin this thing a couple times. It should end up to where it's there we go. So I can get some good B roll going in, going out. I can flip it uh, to look in front of me. I can adjust it to where it's up high or looking down at maybe a dead turkey. That'd be nice. But works out pretty nice for me. Alright, so I actually took the seat off to get my camera in this angle to show you guys. 
but this is the back part of the kayak and I have a battery right here um, I think I got it actually I can't remember where I got it it was off of Amazon somewhere I'm pretty sure but that thing sits right here in the back I'll show you what that looks like in just a second it fits perfectly in between these two little plastic notches I've got a Minn Kota 35 pound thrust trolling motor it uh it does really good on this kayak and uh, it fits right here perfectly on the side and if you're looking it just slides right over this plastic wiggle it down a little bit and then I can tighten up these connectors right here and just pinch it to the plastic and a little uh, something to keep in mind is when you're doing this just know that it's tight but it ain't that damn tight and if you hit something good it will throw this thing off so something I'm gonna add to this uh, before I get down there in Mississippi and run this dang thing into an alligator is just a little like a, it's a tool lanyard um, that I got from one of the jobs I was on I'm not gonna disclose which one that was I'm not a thief I just forgot to give it back anyways um, I just clipped this on one of them ordeals right there and I'm gonna drill a hole in the plastic right here and void the warranty on this trolling motor and bolt that to it so if it gets knocked off at least I can just reach down here and I can grab it uh, but this thing works really nicely uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the seat on here and how this thing uh, extends out to where I can reach up and just turn it with my hand and it clears the bottom of this trolling motor perfectly however I want to adjust it but yeah works out great and so when I'm sitting in my seat right here I can just reach up and put my hand on this and I can turn it and that right there is plenty to turn this thing whichever way I want to go um, I will say it is a little uh, tipsy turny if you get wild with it you can't peg it on five and uh, cut it all the way to the side because you will get wet I don't know from experience uh, but I was very close all right so there it is tow motor battery um, and let me throw the rest of my gear in here and uh, give you guys an idea of what it looks like when I am paddling or trolling in here it is with my stuff in it you see my bow like I said I'm sorry about this Sun but I've, I've got to do this right now because I got places to be tonight my bow fits right up in here I mean it fits perfectly it's tight and this um, stabilizer is is touching right there and it keeps it from moving around a bunch plus my GoPro uh, mount is holding it pretty much in place um, this is my turkey gun this year it is a Stevens 301 20 gauge got a red dot on it had to join the fad and uh, jump on the red dot um, ordeal after 20 years it's sexy Indian Creek choke in there all that is tucked away nice up in the front and uh, nice and secure uh, whether I'm hunting with my bow or my gun uh, and then I've got plenty of leg room as you can see I can move it all the way up to there if I really needed to which I definitely don't trust me and then as we go to the back I've got my turkey vest sitting here or it would be my backpack for deer hunting um, along with the battery uh, there's room for another battery on the opposite side if you want to run uh, a bigger battery or just two of these which is what I'm going to be doing I ordered one of these already just because this thing lasts quite a bit um, but it doesn't last as long as I'd like for out-of-state trips um, so it'll probably work for me for two days doing what I want to do but in case I'm going somewhere where there's I'm gonna be out for four days or whatever in case I can't charge my batteries I'll have a backup and uh, of course um, this was in the decoy bag but he's so beautiful I had to pull him out to show everybody uh, but the decoy bag fits in the back pretty nice and uh, I can actually take another bungee and come right over the top in case I'm worried about something out right here uh, plopping out of there but as you can see everything uh, fits on this thing perfect uh, it has a 350 pound weight rating I'm calling bull crap because I'll show you some guys I'll show you guys some footage right now of me uh, hauling a deer out hole yes it's only a doe because I suck this year but she fit perfectly in the front all the way back to here and uh, as long as you got like some paracord or something to maybe to tie her head or their head uh, maybe down to these bungees so it's not flopping off the side your deer will sit right here on the front it's not trying to sink there's plenty of weight uh, distributed throughout it to where I felt super comfortable and uh, I wouldn't think twice about hauling out a big buck I would definitely gut him um, but I'm also only 165 pounds 
So I've got another 200 pounds to play with roughly somewhere around in there. So you guys can see this thing just handles everything perfectly. It's great for anything you want to throw at it. Uh, the thing I like most about it is the price. This thing is $600. That's right. I said 600 bucks. Um, there's better kayaks out there without a doubt. I promise you there are, but you're going to pay over a thousand, maybe 1500, closer to two grand in a kayak. And if you use your kayak every time you go hunting, that is probably the route to go. Uh, but I don't every single time. I probably use this thing 50% of the time that I hunt, uh, mainly because I fell in love with water access. Uh, my buddy Parker McDonald really turned me on to it. I really enjoy watching his hunts. If you haven't seen any of his hunts, go check out Southern Ground uh, Honey. He has a podcast as well, um, and he could probably teach you guys a lot more about hunting uh, from the water than I can. Uh, but really getting into it. I'm really enjoying it. I want to do this video to show you guys there's options out there uh, that are really cheap that'll still get the job done and do exactly what you want it to do and uh, comfy seat tons of room lots of accessory add-ons um, and just room for all your gear I don't see how you can beat this Ascend uh, 12T I think you can get them at Cabela's or Bass Pro same thing and uh, anyways hope you guys enjoy this video uh, if you guys are watching my videos um, this one and all my other hunting videos I appreciate it please if you guys are and you enjoy my videos take a second go subscribe I'm this close to a thousand and it would mean the world to me if you guys could do that so uh, as always thanks for watching and uh, if you guys have any more questions about this kayak or questions about hunting water uh, access in general feel free to shoot me a message you can find me on Facebook or Instagram uh, just Search Jacob Emery, that's J-A-C-O-B-E-M-E-R-Y, not E-M-B, not E-M-O, it's E-M-E-R-Y. Uh, and if you're interested in anything else about this kayak, holler at me, I'll be glad to help. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.